Hey, what is up YouTube? We have got a very special PayPal request. This one is for David Bell and it's very special for me because it is another pick of El Estepario Siberiano. I was so impressed with the previous video I did of his, which was Dream Theater, The Enemy Inside, and I a single pedal playing a three piece, three piece drum kit playing that song. Dude was rocking uh, weights on a snare drum. The actual tone this guy got, I mean, not to mention the facility and the chops and the pocket. The tone this guy got out of a drum kit is something we can only dream about. I am yet to hear a better snare tone on the channel. That's a challenge out there. If anyone can, <laughs> Gavin Harrison's snare tone is pretty, it is just a crisp, clean, dead sounding snare sound that, ah, uh, and I mean, not to mention that the plane was just absolutely fantastic. Y ahora mismo, yo sé que el estepario siberiano está mirando mi canal y quiero decir que me encanta como tocas. Tocas muy bien y puedo sentir la alma. Es un sonido tan perfecto y me encanta. Mira, buena suerte con tu canal y vamos. Hey guys, just a reminder, please have a look back through the reaction playlist. I have already done the pot, you know, just the original tool version. And I was quite surprised at the vocals on there. I think I got a little bit of hate because I said, hey, this sounds like uh, Adam Levine from Maroon 5. It was just quite a strange vocal tone. How dare you? But yeah, hey, please be sure to go back, check out the playlist. If you have a request, you can always hit me over at the Patreon or on PayPal. All right, let's get rolling. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raised the dead. Rock the great to snow. Alright, I'm gonna have to stop it because Hey? Hey? So basically, I'm pretty much as good as this guy because I've got the same snare drums. Now, one thing I really dig here is his sticks are such a natural extension of his arms and his hands. Watch the the stick path and the flow of the sticks. You'll notice that it's very effortless. There might be other reasons for the uh effortlessness no I don't, i'm not sure i don't know you'll see the very relaxed nature and the just natural stick path and flow nothing seems like a big deal and when you're in this kind of flow state when you put in the mileage and you're relaxed the natural stick path just comes out you get a really great grip on the sticks you need to get that whip. That's what she that said. Nice whip motion going. And if you're tense, you just can't. Everything's stiff. Anyway, That's what she said. Let's carry on. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 let's back that up. 
Damn. Guys, it's not the chops, it's how we're using them. Oh! You can get away. Vinnie Caliuta proved to the world. You can play whatever you want, as long as it's in time. The problem is, it's so often not on. Or even worse, you think it's on and it's off. If you can play in time, with control, hit subdivisions, come back to a groove, and not have to reset the tempo and disrupt the whole thing that's going on musically, the bigger picture. You can do whatever you want. It just takes a lot of headroom and a lot of practice. And remember, I brought this up on the previous video. You'll notice there's no mics here, which <laughs> blows my mind. We're living in the future, are we? We really are. Um, there's no mics here. We've got an EAD-10 by Yamaha. He credits it in the instructions down here, GoPro 7 for video, Yamaha EAD-10 for audio. I'm not gonna try and explain to you guys how the EAD-10 functions, because I've never used one. But check out, check it out at the Yamaha site. Not a paid endorsement for Yamaha, but check it out if you wanna do fantastic professional recordings and get, gather the kind of audience that this guy has without spending a lot of money on mics. It's just phenomenal. Four top tone. Stop it. Another thing he does mention here. Hey, by the way, sorry to keep stopping the video. It is a reaction video. <laughs> Go check out the original if you want to see it uninterrupted, which I'm going to do at some point. He does say here, this is not how you should play this song. This was created for fun, and I'm basically jamming along to the track. Save the hate for real causes. I love that. You son of a bitch. So yeah, I mean, there's covers and then there's covers. Your Yoka springs to mind, note for note, burying the track, covers. El Estepario, Siberiano. Hey, gonna do my own thing, have a little bit of fun. Both are equally valid. Whatever, whatever suits, there's no rules. There are no rules on this stuff. If it works, it works.
Got to have the weights in the right place. That's the key to playing the snare drum. What? I can do that because I've got that snare. It's practically impossible to watch this guy straight on. I, I cannot watch him like this. It's, I kind of have to watch him out the corner of my eye. It's just, it's like looking at the sun. You, it just like, you look for a brief second and you have to look away. It's just, it's just too, too much. The awesomeness. What can you say? I've already talked far too much on this video. Uh, el Estepario Siberiano, gracias. Eso es todo. Chao.